flu shot day. Ouch. <laughs> Good morning, loves. Today is flu shot day. <sighs> Ouch. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm going to be like brave. I'm going to Girl, hate needles. But I'm going to get it done. So a sister is about to get dressed. I had the best conversation today with a friend that lives in Georgia that I haven't talked to in a couple of years. And she thought about me. Thank you, Gloria. So that was nice. We had good conversations, catching up on what's going on with each other, making sure each other is well along with our families. So that was really nice. I just love her to pieces. Um, so yeah, it's always good and always make you feel good when you thought about. <laughs> yes, she thought about me. I love that. So I'm gonna get dressed now and get ready to go to this appointment and deliver some um, meals today to family. And that's gonna be my day for right now. So I'll get back to you guys. Okay, okay. to deliver some meals gotta give guys gotta give <laughs> my destination to get my blue shot I don't know if they're gonna let me record it but I hope she do she know I'm a blogger so hopefully she let me record that part of me getting stuck all right here we go so the needle is right there guys It's waiting for me. That needle is huge. Y'all see that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I ain't scared. I just don't like this needle. I ain't scared. Come on, doctor. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Because I want shot. everybody to know how important it is to get your flu shot. People. Ooh. I'm not scared. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt us. One, two, three, baby. Yeah. It's over, y'all. It's over. Oh, oh, oh.
I'm wearing the mess out of his hat, ain't I, guys? Good gracious. <laughs> I'm not trying to get sick when getting the flu shot. Trying to stay covered. I got my scarf. Girl is serious. So like I said, I got me a sandwich. I stopped at Ashley's and got me a nice fresh um, brisket sandwich on whole wheat. I'm gonna go home and chill and eat that. You got to see how thick he made this thing. I can make three more sandwiches with this. Look, there's that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So the color is done and right now what I'm doing is just prepping it here so I can braid in three rows of corn rolls and that is where I will be putting the tracks um, so in the mind so this is the second row of braids the first one you just saw and it will be another one shaped just like this one in the crown area so I do halfway up from one side to the back and then the other side the same way. And then I just rubber band them together. And then I will sew the track on. This is the last one. And I'm rubber banding that on now, as you can see. And now we're going to put the hair in. You see that I got all three rows in the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one. And that is the shorter one. Okay, let's get sewing. Okay, so now we're gonna cut it she doesn't like hers long she just like it enough to make her ponytail and I'm just gonna do a cut right here and then I'm gonna go through it with like a light layer cut but like a slither kind of cut because with the um, weave here it has a tendency of having that 
thick line around the bottom. So you want to go in it with like a little slither cutting, like inside with your the tip of your scissors, just to get that look out of there. Okay. Okay, guys, she's all done. Comment below, guys, what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this style, please leave them in the comments. Okay? Well, guys, I finished Lori's hair. Wow. She's looking cute. Say hi, Lori. <laughs> so you guys got a nice big tutorial of filling your hair in to make it thicker and longer, even though she cut it, right? But we'll see you guys on the next one. This is the end of this one. Thanks for hanging around, viewing it. Give me some comments. Let me know how you like it. And I'll see you guys on the next what? Vlog. Oh.